This week, we're in Florida, exploring the Great Calusa Blue Way, where you'll find Bunch Beach, a preserve with protected beach and mangrove forest that's a must-see for any traveler visiting the area. Bunch Beach is one of Lee County's preserves. It's one of my favorite places in Lee County because it's so protected, it's just a great spot to get out. Kids get on the water, great for fishing. It's a great place just to take the family and just relax. We're about to go paddling on this giant Crusader paddleboard with kids and toys and do some exploring. Kids are playing in the ocean, kicking water, goofing off. The beach is really pretty. It actually has this coral coming out of the sand. When we got to Bunch Beach, we inflated the, uh, the big Crusader board, our big paddle board that fits the whole family, and put that on the water with all the kids. We could paddle out a little bit away from the beach, and then we have a swimming, diving, jumping board. There's so much room on the Crusader that the kids think it's their own playroom, essentially. So they're getting up and they're dancing and they're running and you're trying to balance and not fall in. And you know, they want to see you fall in though, so they're going to run even more and be as crazy as they can. And it's, they're just wild, it's so funny. When you put a bunch of kids on the same board, all sorts of crazy stuff will happen. Mike met us at Bunch Beach in the morning and took us out. And if anybody knows the Calusa Blue Way, it's Mike. I thought today we would paddle out and we go down towards the Sanibel Causeway. There's some really cool flats down there where we can look for some cool shells. And there's a nice creek that we can pop back into but we have about 704 acres in this preserve, so we've got a lot of stuff to explore. So does that sound like fun? He knows all the wildlife. He knows everything that you can see out there. And it was really great being with him. He could point out the things that we wouldn't have known how to identify. Oh, it is alive. I've got a horseshoe crab. So it's not really a crab, it's actually related more closely to the spiders. And they, people think that this stings you, but all that's for is to help, it helps them turn around. If they get flipped over like that, they can use it to flip themselves back. People a lot think, of people are scared of it. They are. And it's, it's actually harmless, so people think it's, it's kind of scary looking. No, like, no. little legs. See, yeah, if he doesn't, it doesn't like being upside down. Nobody's around. There are all kinds of horseshoe crab shells and you're, seen all these other shells in wildlife. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Not far away from the main entrance to the beach is this really cool little tunnel of mangrove tunnels. But this is a really cool spot we're gonna see. It's kind of like a secret spot. And you go through this tight little tunnel and you're covered by the mangroves and the kids think it's so cool because there's tiny little black crabs everywhere, all over the trees just climbing around and you know, you're spotting and the more you look as you're floating through this mangrove tunnel, the more you're seeing. Oh, look at all the crabs on this branch. They're right here. You can get really close to them. Look, do you see them right here on this branch? There's 10 crabs all the way He is scared. So what I'll do, I'll put them right back on the branch. Yep, we'll put them right back. It's a lot of wildlife. You just see it everywhere you go in every direction. It's just pretty exciting for the kids. And you see fish back in the mangrove tunnels swimming around. We even saw some ibises, which is a long kind of spoon arced bill wading bird. Take someone out and show them something that's new to them. It's kind of like it's new to me. It just makes me more that much more excited too. So it's kind of like you're living that first time when you're showing something new to somebody else. When they see it and they're excited, I get excited all over again. So we left the Tarpon Lodge by boat, which is the only way to get to Kaya Costa. And we all loaded up in there, paddle boards, camping gear, everything we needed for a night out there in Kaya Costa. It's camping in kind of a remote place. We passed by these old fishing huts that are just 
out on stilts out in the middle of the water, really pretty ride. Um, calm waters, beautiful blue. We saw some wildlife, tons of osprey everywhere along the way. And then you get to Kea Costa, very boat friendly. You can only get there by boat. So you bring all your supplies in and they meet you at the dock with this cool little tram. So you pile in your gear, they take you across the island to these either primitive camp spots where you can set up your own tent or they have t cabin tents as well. The kids love setting up a tent, getting their sleeping bags ready, and we set up the tent in kind of a little mangrove enclave. The mangroves are arching over, and as we're setting up, you can hear the lizards running around on the branches. And from those camp spots, you're literally a two minute walk or less to these beautiful, pristine beaches. What's really neat about Kea Costa is that there are a lot of different places to paddle. In the morning when we were there, the ocean was really calm. Um, the evening when we were there, there were more waves, so you've got opportunity to paddle in some more ocean wave conditions, but there's also a very calm lagoon. So you could paddle all the way across. It was almost a mile across, but easy paddling. You get to the end, this little mouth kind of winds through to the ocean. Uh, beautiful, calm waters, shells everywhere. So as soon as we got to the other end, the girls were like, ah, I want to get out of here, there's shells. And then, you know, they're jumping off into the shallows and exploring and it just felt untouched. In the ocean, had that ocean golf chop that was making waves and he surfed with the kids in the ocean. Once you catch that first wave, they want to catch as many as they can until I give up from being exhausted. It's one of those things is once you get going, if I say there's only one more, they're like, no, we got to do at least three to 10 more. <laughs> the Calusa Blue White Paddling Trail is the perfect family experience. You can circumnavigate islands while watching shorebirds and wading birds. You can surf in some of the coastal beaches with the kids. You can look at wildlife and check out dolphins and manatees. It's just a well-rounded place where there's all sorts of things to do. Every time that we get to camp is this exciting time for them. They really do take it in and all we have to do is just put them out there. It gets them away from the TV and electronics. We can get out there, we can be a family. So you get to fully immerse yourself in it. There's really not a lot of distractions. 